I'm Eric Cortina, and Barnuminiums are my business. We have the fire pit out here, which, as you can imagine, it's gonna look pretty nice out here. We also poured another slab over here that may be used for a hot tub, or maybe just a picnic table, or some kind of entertainment, one way or another, so. Very nice features. And of course, the view. Of course, that doser is not going to be there. So as you guys can see, the road work has started. We're not doing that. The customer's taking care of that. But it's going to be very helpful, especially once the rains come, because this place was hard to get to when it rained. So that's going to be very helpful. Uh, the septic is in. But the main thing is the trim. The trim has started and the railing, in my opinion, is looking pretty good. So anyway, let me go show you that. All right, here's something I want to show you. If I point my camera outside, it's 82 degrees inside the house. It's 67 degrees. There's no AC, no anything, just a very well insulated bar aluminum. All right, so the first thing you'll notice when you walk in here is the railing. It's almost completed. All the balusters are oil rub bronze and they're spaced four inches. Let me go around and try to give you a small tour. So, so as you can tell, the beams up there are also done. Uh, those were not done last time I was here. The floors are done and covered. The, uh, the railing's done. So let's go over here, see what it looks like. So because of the height of this barnuminium, we keep a lift on site. Uh, equipment shares where we get our equipment. If you've never dealt with them, they're very good people to deal with. Give them a try. Because I mean, to get up there, we need a lift. So the peak of the barnuminium is about 23 feet from the ground. So yes, a lift is very, very needed. The other thing that we're doing of course, we have brand new floors that are covered with ram board, but where the lift is, we put additional plywood to protect the floors. We just wanna make sure that we don't leave any indentations on the floor. As you can see, we have more plywood over here and over there, so every time we had to move the lift, we would move the plywood and make sure we kept it on plywood the whole time. But anyway, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Uh, scaffolding would have been another option, but I don't think it's as safe as having a lift, so we got a lift. Here's one of the bathrooms, and as you can tell, the tile work is done. All right, let me go upstairs and show you that. The view is very, very nice. So as I was saying, all the railing is made out of white oak, and those balusters are all rub bronze. They have naughty alder doors, which are gonna get all stained. All these bedrooms have the same kind of doors. Solid core, of course. We don't use any hollow core doors. The trim's gonna get painted. And of course, we got tile in this bathroom as well. Pretty interesting tile here, lively. And of course, this is a, uh, this bathroom is gonna get shared with this other bedroom. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know that was a short video, but every time I come over here, I get so excited that I just have to show you. So anyway, we'll see you next time. We are Texas Barnuminiums.